hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going going to study about multiplication command in fatic plc with the help of winpro ladder software first of all i will open my winpro ladder software and second i will open some any program which is already is opened in the main parameter software i will delete this all program and make it new program simply i took that function and here i will go that in previous lecture we discuss about this subtraction command and now we will discuss about this multiplication command simply click it okay and as per previous lecture we can choose any data registers which for uh, values to start for example i will take d0 and second i will take d1 data register and third one sorry third one i will take d2 any data registers you can choose that's not the issue and here it's i will take one input of execution by x0 and click it okay and this is simply this small program i will download to my plc and make it the simulation make it set up simulation what's the problem or uh, run make it run plc and simply go to the status page make it the small and can we take it down side and here i remove this data d0 choose and d1 i will choose this also i will make it the zero and this also i will make the zero both are zero and i will make it here execution when make on now see d0 also is zero d1 is also zero and d2 is also zero as per previous lectures i tell you that the function commands basically is a math function that's look like any multiplication command division command all are the look like same only what's the difference same like a calculator when you giving the any value at the d0 data register it will be multiply with d1 and it gives the answer to d2 if you simply go to the if you simply go to the help after you can click it here also you can read it here ladder symbol also this is look like same like and multiplication control this is the enabled fun enabled line yani which is already i show it here enabled line and that's the unsigned and signed integer data which you like to store which data register you will choose that will be value stored in the multiplicand multiplier destination register to store the results of the multiplication what he says in description performs the multiplication of the data specified at sa and sp and writes the result to a specified register d when the multiplication control input enabled one are from 0 to 1 any bit when it's uh, executed after this will be executed if the product of multiplication is equal to 0 then set f o 0 to 1 if the product is a negative number then the set 
f o 1 to 1 means any value when you giving at the at in this data register at this data register for example that d0 i will give the value 20 for example and now i like to this 20 value multiplied by 2 and as i give the 2 after when you execute the x0 this can be a signal from outside the field or any you can use the internal memory also as you make it on it will gives the answer in d20 because of d this d0 is a your value of the field and how much figure you like to multiply with this field value and he will gives the answer in d2 simply if when you giving the value at the 3 for example it will be multiply with 20 and gives the answer in d2 if you need the value for 4 for example it will multiply by 20 and gives the answer to the d2 data register and d2 data registers you have to be used in next row programs which is depend on depends on your logic how you make the logic maybe you make it the logic with the analog control maybe you use for 4 to 20 milliohms when you make the 20 million signal take and you read it at the d0 that will be multiplication you can make in the program after you can get the answer in d2 data register this is the never no problem any data register you can choose d0 or d10 or d20 d30 d40 whatever which data register you choose after that data register gives the correct answer basically this is the calculator and when we're using in the field analog signals or somewhere uh, uh, any any type of multiplication commands where you like to use this command will help you d1 data register is simply if you like to take this data registers at the hmi after you can make the set point from the hmi and simply when you give the d1 data for example this is the d1 data if i make it 5 for example see it's the 20 multiplied by 5 answer is 100 and as the signal coming from the field for example uh, this analog value or what it will be continuously make the multiplication and gives the answer to the d2 or which data register you write here I hope you understand about the multiplication command. If not understand anything in this lecture, you can send me the message in comment section. I will give you feedback as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.